Charlie Walker, welcome back. Thank you. You were happy to resign. What What were the the, the deciding factors? Um, it's different. I, I wanted to be here. I enjoyed my year last year, and I felt like I had a okay to good season. So um, I wanted to come back, improve on it, and then see where that takes us. And uh, uh, Gary as well. Um, I've heard a lot about him. Um, a lot of people have spoke highly about him, and uh, from what I've spoken to him. He wants to not only improve all the shot, but he wants to improve me as a player, which is obviously appealing. And you say you had a, an OK to good season. You, you were the club top scorer, so yeah. <laughs> let's yeah. not forget that. That's, but were you, even though you were the club top scorer, did you feel there was more to come from you? Yeah, definitely. I, I've said this to Gary as well. I've said I wanted to score more goals, and I think I didn't because my middle of the season wasn't great. It was OK. Um, I... I was maybe playing a bit too deep than I should have been. My area is being in the box and scoring goals, which I think I showed against Bromley at the end of the season where I was trying to play a bit higher and I was in a two up front with Dan. Um, and I've said that to him. So that's, for me, it felt like it wasn't my best season because my target really was up towards the 20 and 14 is OK, but it just wasn't good enough for me and I want to improve on that this year. Yeah. And... I don't know if you've spoken to Gary about this. As all Shot Town fans well know, Gary plays kind of attacking football, very open football, the sort of game that should, lots of pace as well, the sort of game that should suit you. Yeah, he said that to me, and that was again another fact in coming back. Um, he thinks the way we're going to play is going to definitely help me, and he wants me in the box, and he wants me finishing. And if they're creating three or four chances a game, I'm hopefully going to put a couple in every game. So. Just from that, I know that I'll be scoring more this year. The summer's far from over. We don't want to start setting too many targets yet. But is that, you say, last season your ambition was, was to get close to 20. Is that where you see yourself again? Yeah, again, it, would, it will be that. But really, first of all, it's just to beat last year. And I have to improve. And I have to improve my game. And my goal scoring has to improve. That's pretty much standard, yeah. Are there any other personal ambitions, any... any Thing that the manager has said of this is where the team wants to go? Uh, not as such yet. I think he'll put his squad in place first and then speak to us as a group and sort of sit down with us. But um, he's just told us straight away that he wants to play football, he wants to play at the back and he wants to get us playing again and no long balls and maybe if we need to. But main main thing first is just to play football. And to entertain the fans? Exactly, yeah, that's, what you, that's all you want to do really, isn't it? As I said, the summer's still far from over. <clears throat> first pre-season is the 1st of, the first of July, but yeah. I'm sure you're enjoying your summer, but are you also, in the back of your mind, looking forward to getting back and getting working again? Yeah, I mean, as a footballer, you're, the main thing you want to do is play games, and for them to say your first games on the 1st of July is <laughs> quite unheard of. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I'll, be, I'll be training before that, and I'll be working my fitness through the summer. I mean, I'm in the gym already. Uh, I'm running every day, so hopefully I'll be firing straight away on the 1st of July against QPR. And I suppose that is it, that the modern, the modern day footballer doesn't really have a close season in terms of fitness, that you've got a pre... that the day you come back for pre-season isn't the day you start your fitness training That's by any well, means. No, yeah, I mean, uh, you're told to have a couple of weeks off just to let your legs recover and just have a rest, but then... Russ has already sent us our programs and we're back onto it and yeah we'll, you'll have a, a, most of your fitness before you even start pre-season. So that's the, once you start pre-season that's starting on tactics and shape and actually the, the technical side rather than just running up hills. Yeah exactly so yeah it gives you more chance to start working on your tactics and your football inside. There will be many a horrible run but uh, like I say yeah it gives you that chance to start working on your football a bit more. Yeah. Well I'm sure you can't wait and we can't either. Exactly. Welcome back, yeah. welcome back, Charlie. Cheers, Steve. Thank you.